this tutorial I'm going to show you how to remove a uh, factory reset protection on Motorola Moto X style. So saying in other words how to bypass a Google account in Motorola phones. Here I have verifying your account panel and I'm not able to skip this point or bypass it. I should input the appropriate email and password to my Google account. So if I want to bypass this step I should go back to welcome panel. Let me do it. Uh, from the select Wi-Fi network, I should disconnect my device from any uh, Wi-Fi connection. Let me do it. I should tap forget. And now I can scroll down to add another network. And now I am looking for an earth icon from this keyboard. As you can see, there is no icon right now. So I should go back to welcome panel and choose another language. It could be one of the Asian's language, for example, this one. Now we should go to Wi-Fi networks. Here is add another network icon, so I should tap it. And as you can see, the earth icon just appears in front of you. Now we can go back to welcome panel one more time, and this time we should choose English language, but not from the United Kingdom or, or from U United States. It could be English from India. Let me do it. Now we should go to select Wi-Fi network, scroll down again, tap another network. And now we have Earth icon and we've got many in English. So that's what we need. Now we have to hold down the Earth icon for a few seconds. When the change keyboard menu appears in front of you, we should tap choose keyboards. Now active Google Japanese input. Go back. Open keyboard to add another network and hold down the earth icon one more time. Now choose Japanese. And now from the Japanese keyboard, you have to hold down the left down icon for a few seconds. Then tap Google Japanese input settings. From this menu scroll down to the bottom of the list and choose privacy policy. Web page is not available of course, but we can highlight the random words and we can tap share. The phone is showing us the options to share. We have to choose messaging. And now I'm going to input the number. It should be 112. And we should send this message to this number. Let me do it. If the message wasn't sent, we should go back. And do it one more time. So highlight the random words, tap share, choose messaging, input one, one, two, and tap send icon. The error appears on the screen, but now we can tap on call icon and that's what we need. Now the phone's dialer is on the screen we can input the code which helps us get into a menu of the phone. The code is like that, star hash star hash four six three six hash star hash star. And the testing menu appears in front of you. Now we have to open usage statistics. Let me do it. And now we can go back using this arrow. And we are in phone settings. We can mm -hmm. scroll down to personal tab and choose backup and reset. Mm -hmm. Now we can choose factory data reset. And as you can see, we can't tap on reset phone. So we have to go back to list of settings, scroll down and choose about phone. 
scroll down again and tap a couple of times in build number you are now a developer you can go back to list of settings and under printing you've got developer options select them scroll down to debugging and active usb debugging allow phone to do this so tap ok Okay, now we can go back to personal tab and choose backup and reset one more time. Choose factory data reset and from this point we should connect our phone to a computer using a micro USB cable. Let me do it. The cable is connected to my PC. When the phone is asking you to allow USB debugging, tap OK. And now you should use your computer. You have to install a couple of tools and drivers. The link to this application should be under this video in descriptions. I've got already everything installed, so I should open and launch the minimal ADB and fastboot application. It's right here. And now I have to use the three lines of codes which I prepare for you. The codes, uh, the old scripts will be, of course, under the video. Now we have to copy the first, the first line of code. Let me copy this and we should paste in minimal ADB application. Now we have to tap enter. Now we are going back to script. We should copy the second line and paste into minimal U ADB application. Again, tap enter. And now use the rest of the code. Copy everything and paste into our application. Confirm this by tapping enter. Now you can go back to the phone. If reset phone isn't active, you have to disconnect your device close minimal ADB program open minimal ADB program one more time let me do it now connect your Motorola device using a micro USB cable one more time Allow phone using a USB, tap OK. And use prepared script. Copy the first line, paste into our application. Click enter on your keyboard. Use the second line of code. Copy this and paste into ADB fastboot application. Okay, and use the rest of the code. As you can see, the reset phone now is available. You can tap on this icon. And if you are sure that you want to erase all your personal information and downloaded apps, and also remove a factory rescue protection, choose erase everything. 
The factory data reset has just been started. The phone is restarting and erasing all personal content. Excellent, the hard reset operation has just been done and the welcome panel just appears on the screen. Now we can check if the Google account protection is still on our phone. So I'm gonna choose English language. Now I can skip the selecting Wi-Fi network panel, so I'm gonna do it. Skip anyway. I'm accepting all terms and I'm going next, next. Now I have to choose one of the screen locks. Let me do it. Okay, could be the random one. Now next. I am agree with all terms and policy. And as you can see, we can now use our phone. There was no verifying account panel on the screen and we remove uh, factory rest protection. Thank you for watching. If the tutorial was interesting, please subscribe our channel and leave like under the video.